All right, here we are. It's Mr. Rops. And Mr. Co. And we're going to use identities to solve trig equations. And so right now we have this situation where g is 50 sine 5x cos 5x. Okay. And x is between 0 and pi by 5. And we want to write expression for g of x in the form a sine 10x, where a is an integer. Well, when I see 10x to 5x, the thing I think about right off the bat, I know what I think about. What do you think about there, Mr. Cole? Um, what would you call it? Double angle identity? That's the one, exactly. And this is Double from your formula, formula booklet here. It looks like this. And so I know that I have this side here is the same as that. If we match them up, this is 50 sine 5x cos 5x. And I want to find sine 10x. I need to know the number in front. Well, the way that this double angle theorem works is the angle is it's 2 on this side to 1. So 2 to 1. 10 to 5 is that 2 to 1 ratio. But if I look at the coefficient, it's 2 here to 1 on this side. So it's half. So if I'm going to take this 50, I'm going to divide it by 2. Yep, 25, 25. sine 10x. And so a equals 25. And g of x, to answer the question, is 25 sine 10x. That is a part. Nice. Or double I, I guess, or single I. Double I now says solve g of x equals 0. Well, that means I need to solve this equation here equal to 0. Given your answers in terms of pi. So if I'm going to put it in terms of pi, I just solving this, I know I have my 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to pi by 5. The fact that this is 10x, but my interval is in x. What can I do with that interval? Okay, so let's um, well, let's convert it to 10x. So put 10x in the middle because that's our angle. All right, so multiply everything by 10. So 10x. Okay, so that's got to be bigger than zero, mm -hmm. um, and it's got to be less than 2 pi. Okay, so now solve in this equation. I'm going to divide by 25. So we got. So sine of my angle is 0. Okay, so we need to figure out um, which angles have got a sine of 0 between um, 0 and 2 pi. For me, when I think about I think about my unit circle. Okay. And sine is the y value. So I want to know when the y value is 0. That happens here and here. So that's 0. Okay, pi and 2 pi. And 2 pi. Because it's including those... Right. 0 and 2 pi as exactly. well. Exactly, there's the equal sign. So 0 all the way to 2 pi, and that's 10x. But I don't need 10x, I need plain old x. So I'm going to divide everything by 10. So I get 0 by 10, pi by 10, and 2 pi by 10, which is simply 0, pi by 5. Oh, pi yep. by 10. <laughs> <laughs> pi by 10 and pi, pi by 5. Let me do it in the right order so that it makes more sense. By Jumping 10. ahead and pi by 5. And that is what our angle is equal to. Okay, so in doing this problem, we use double angle to rewrite g of x, and then we solve in terms of pi by setting the function equal to 0. Mm -hmm.